What is up everybody? It's your boy Duty back again with another video and this is part two of the cope and the salt that is DSP. Oh my lord. Yesterday was just chef's kiss. He gave he gave us he gave the detractors so much fun content to review and make fun of. First of all, it was the podcast where he decided to lose his mind for 25 minutes and address something that happened two weeks ago where a Zelda community uh, person decided to uh, post a criticism on Twitter about Phil. And uh, he decided to, he finally realized, he finally, I guess, came up with a, uh, a burn or an excuse for that person to decide to rant and rave about it for 25 minutes. But this video is in that. This video is the Street Fighter Six cope and salt video oh my lord and of course like always whenever we watch phil talk about a gameplay we have to have gameplay footage in the back and you can clearly see that he was utter garbage now in this gameplay he does talk about how bad he did but then he he tries to clean it up and make it seem like he did pretty good your boy duty has the statistics to show he was other garbage yesterday with manana what what was manoa or whatever you want to call her let's play the video then in Street Fighter 6, I tried Mano. And yes, that's actually how to say her name because the There you go, Mano. Game says Mano. So that's now I know how to pronounce it. Um, but a really weird thing happened. Okay, so I took Mano into the guide and into combo trials, played with her for about roughly a half an hour, like I've been doing with every character. I learned a couple of basic strategies or whatever, seemed good. Okay, I'll, I'm learning. Here we go. And this is what I'll do when I go online. So I go online and ranked and I play my first few matches, I get bodied. Like my first match is a Dalsim, that's definitely a high ranked Dalsim, and he knows everything. He's zoning me, he's effing me up, and I'm like, I haven't even played with this character yet. I don't even know a button to push mid range, and this guy's dominating me, right? So the first two matches I lose. Next one. Why are you playing ranked matches, Phil? If you're learning a new character, why are you playing ranked matches? Why don't you just simply play casual matches? But of course, your pride does not allow you to do that. Same situation, I don't even remember who it was, maybe like a DJ. Again, mixing me up, high, low, everything. I'm like, dude, I don't even know what buttons to push yet. And I'm getting dominated by people who obviously are like high rank. Why am I playing them in my placement matches, right? Then I started to learn a little bit about how the command throw works or whatever. I think I won like two or three matches and then I was mixed for the end. So probably overall, I won like five out of 10 placement matches, right? The game places me at five star platinum. I don't know what I'm doing. I barely won half my placement matches. The game placed me at five star platinum. I don't know much about the game. I started playing it. I'm just assuming it looks at your overall accumulative scores and totals and matches. I'm assuming that's why it places you. But yet again, Phil, why are you playing ranked matches if you're just learning a character? Why not just play extended training? You could do that. Or why not just do casual matches where you have people that aren't as good as ranked players and it's a more casual, fun atmosphere where you can learn the mechanics and not feel like you're getting bodied over and over again. You, you refuse to do that. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so before I even have a chance to really get an, uh, my head around the character, I'm getting tossed into these high-level matches with people who know exactly what to do. It's, I'm trying to do throw setups. Oh, they know I'm going to throw. Neutral jump right out of it or jab right through the throw. I'm like, I'm just learning the placement, the setups. These people already know how to completely beat this character. And it's obvious that the whole placement system isn't working right because the placement system, the way it's supposed to work is you play your first few matches, it judges your skill, and you get tossed into people of equal skill. There's no way I'm five-star platinum with Mano. I've never used it before. So why are you giving me such a high ranking? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so as you can see here, he's talking about five star platinum ranking. I believe this was one of the placement matches. This is his third placement match, right? As you can see from the screen. He's playing a gold, a gold two. And I believe he's a platinum already. So I just wanted to point that out that he's not playing platinum players or whatever he's playing a gold player so we'll continue later we'll, we'll see if that changes later on like i should have at highest been gold at highest and then at least i would have been playing with lower level people learning the basics getting better with this character gradually and if i climb myself to platinum then i can say all right i earned it i learned it but this is kind of ridiculous they put me at that to start when i didn't know what the hell i was doing and <clears throat> now some people have said it has something to do with when I first played my first ranked match, it asked me, what level of player are you? And it was like, complete newbie, 
low level of skill, intermediate, advanced, and expert. And I don't even know what I clicked. I guess some people are saying I clicked advanced or expert. I, how are you supposed to know what that is the first time you're playing ranked? Yes, that's exactly what you chose, Phil, because I know when I selected it, I put newbie or beginner because I'm, I'm new to the game. I've played Street Fighter before, but I'm in no way a great player or even fully understand the game. And I know that Street Fighter 6 is much different than the other game, so I picked newbie. But of course, your pride and your, you know, you, you being the ex uh, evil winner, you know, and you, God forbid if you put just learning or new or n newbie or whatever the case is, no, you probably put expert, advanced, uh, you know, if there was a category in there for evil champion, you probably would have selected that. So again, these are your choices, Phil. I love how you rant and rave and go off for choices that you made. This isn't something that, you know, someone pushed on you. And I love how he blames the game, the mechanics, something isn't working right. And he just figured out, someone told him that, hey, this probably has to do with when you first started the game, it asked you kind of what is your skill level. And of course, because you decided to be, you know, uh, Captain Evo, you chose one of the higher ones. So there you go. So they toss me automatically against harder opponents. And if I beat a few of them, they think I'm like a god of the game or something, which is wild. Like what? I mean... <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Mano does not have too many like high priority abusable moves and too many safe moves. A lot of her, her moves are moves that are trying to get her mid-range and get her to a position where she can throw or do a hit string that's safe and then maybe do a, cause a mix-up scenario or whatever. The thing is, I don't know them. Like, for example, her standing medium punch is really good. What do I do after it? Well, her target combo is standing medium punch, standing medium kick. But then after that, literally the opponent can mash jab and hit you before you can do anything. You can't command throw. You can't do a move through it because she has no moves with invincibility except supers. Um, you can't really do anything. She's like, hit, hit, now I'm stuck. I put them next to me and I can't do anything because they mash jab and beat me. Another issue I'm definitely having in the game is drive impact. And it seems like Mano is a character. Drive impact's an issue where it blows through a lot of her mid-range moves. And again, I'm still not at the level where I'm able to read and counter hit with drive impact well. However, literally every person I played today has mastered the drive impact system. Anytime I tried to use drive impact, it was like, nope, watch this counter. There's even people who are doing hit strings, like two, three hits, and then immediately go into their own drive impact, baiting yours, and then counter hitting it. So these people have these advanced strategies. Like I said, it was very apparent today. Everyone I played were playing their main characters. They've been playing those characters for a week, week and a half. It's my first time even touching Mano, not knowing what to do. And I'm getting dominated because they threw me into a ring with people who are all playing this game for a week and a half and know what they're doing. You see what I'm saying? All I just heard is a bunch of excuses, Phil, for why you suck at the game. That's it. Your these are again. I don't know how many times I have to say, but due to your choices, it's this is why it's happening to you, Phil. And why do you feel the need to play with the same player and learn the same? That that's a, again another choice you're making. You can pick a different player. Why not? No one's gonna. I don't understand. Just it, it's this OCDness of Phil where once he picks a player he has to stick through it no matter what even though he's getting bodied he's getting slammed or he's just it's a bad he, he's a bad player with that it doesn't suit his style would he will, do, will he just say okay i'm gonna stop i'm gonna play i'm gonna play another character no he spends three hours with this character essentially losing over and over and i have the stats to show how poorly he did so here's the thing I lost a ton today, a ton, and I got frustrated. But it wasn't because my inputs were dropped, it's because I just don't have character knowledge. And not having that character knowledge, I wasn't able to learn because I was fighting people who were too high level for me. So it really was disappointing, like there's something. Okay, here it is, folks. Oh, wait a minute, I have to move a little bit. Uh, because on. I know, I know. Right there, okay. So as you can see here, Phil's opponent is a one diamond, and Phil is a four platinum. That's not a big difference. He should be able to beat this person or or be um, on par with this person. So this whole five star diamond platinum and all this stuff that Phil's talking about. Yeah, no, he, here it is right here. Here it is right here. He's not getting thrown into these crazy lobbies of people that can't beat him. Let's keep going. There's a solid anti-air with her meter burn 
uh, to hit like almost like ballet kick and you can juggle afterward which is nice and if you have one or two setups where you can trick into the command throw man does that command throw do insane amount of damage and now everyone's afraid of it meaning you can bait them into doing things like neutral jump and punish that's all good but I still don't know what to do against most people mid range it seems like she doesn't have many safe moves that lead her to have hit advantage and what are you supposed to do the whole point of her game plan is to bait into a throw or to a punish and I don't know what to do so it looks like I might have to if I'm going to play with her again, which I would like to. Admittedly, I don't mind the character design. I think it's unique and interesting. I might have to watch some other people play, maybe look for some high-level gameplay somewhere on the internet. If anyone has recommendations or wants to send me a few matches with Mano, I'd be willing to watch for sure. To okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, so here's another match here, right? This isn't the, um, the, uh when you play those 10 matches to figure out your skill level. This is an actual match here. Bill is a four star platinum and his opponent is a three star platinum. So essentially this person is a lower ranked or you know, whatever you want to classify it than Phil. Let's see what happens to Phil. Learn tech because again, I couldn't find anything that seems safe from, from mid to close range after any kind of setup. It looked like everyone could just mash jab. That was really the problem today. Literally, people were just sitting here mashing jab. And I'm talking DJ, Cammy, Jury, chun -Li. Everyone just mashing jab. And it beat everything from that range. Like, how is that really a fair matchup? It doesn't seem like it is. At least with Zangief, people who were mashing jab, I had opportunity to do some things to, like, counter hit or, or at least get to the range where he could grapple or he could do something. With Mano, it's just like, jab is beating everything. Or random drive impact is beating everything I'm throwing out there. And it's like... That's so frustrating. You know, I really feel like I, I could do better with this character if I have a little bit more knowledge. I'm not ashamed to admit I lost a ton. I probably lost way more than I won today. I can't imagine. It was a brand new character and I didn't know have a clue what I was doing. And I got slapped around being at, fighting people who knew what they were doing with their characters, you know. Again, Phil. Again, here's the footage. You are a four-star platinum fighting another four uh, no, this person is a five-star platinum, so it's one level sl up than you, Phil. One star. And this person bodied you, Phil. Bodied you. Now, let's go to the stats real quick. I did pull them up, uh, so, uh, I have to have them on a spreadsheet because I'm tracking it. So, Phil here with playing with Man Manon, uh, he played a total of 91 rounds and he only won 23 rounds. That's like a 30%, that's like a barely a 30% average uh, wins there. That's terrible. I mean, other than DJ, um, which I think he did about 35% wins, this is his, by far his worst character. Uh, and I have his overall totals actually. He's, he's, a little, he's a little over average. He's won about 52% of his fights. So he's an average player. So it just it just astounds me that he criticizes, um, you know, uh, or he tries to use to criticize or he tries to say that, oh, the reason why I lost so much was because I was being put up against uh, high level players when that's not the case at all. It's not characters, you know, but I am concerned now because if every character I take online into ranked is going to place me against people who are just playing the game two, three, four weeks, only one character, I'm never gonna get a win. You know what I'm saying? Like it's gonna be progressively harder and harder for me to get wins online. Now, some people suggested, well then don't play ranked, do casual matches. And I guess to some extent you're right, I could do that, but that's kind of a, simple, a situation where it's random. It's like rolling the dice. Sure, you could play someone who has no idea what they're doing, or you can play someone who is a master level player and just doesn't want to risk their rank points right now. You do, you never know what you're going to get with casual matches. With the ranked, at least you know you have people who are trying hard and, and kind of know how to play the game. But at the same time, man, this was a massacre today. I don't know what happened. This is the first time. Like, legit, out of every character I picked, um, that was the first time it was like obvious the game put me against people who, who were playing way more than me, were only focusing on one character and, and knew what they were doing. I mean, perspective here. I haven't hit a drive impact. I can do maybe a two to three hit combo that'll do like 20, 25% damage. They, I, I'll do a wrong move. Like I'll do a move that leaves me open. They'll get a random jump. They didn't time it. They were just happened to be jumping. They'll get one combo. Hit, hit, hit. Dash cancel. Hit, hit, hit. Special move. Super. It's like 60%. So anytime I made a single bad move, I lost more than half of my health bar against these people today. 
Should I really be facing people like that the first time I'm playing a character and don't know what I'm doing? Obviously not. So something went wrong today. The good news is I'm not demotivated to play. In fact, I'm just remotivated. I do want to play again. I do want to use Mano again. I just need to learn some tech. Again, suggestions are welcome. All right. Yeah, sure. Suggestions are welcome. Sure, Phil. Yep. Just like just like when people criticize you on your Zelda playthrough and you call them uh, 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 mouth breathing morons. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll definitely be tracking his play today. I think he's going to do world tour, whatever the case is, which should be pretty boring. Uh, he may do rank match. He may do uh, online matches if the tips aren't there, which could be the case. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.